Yeah, hi, Trace. Today's announcement follows years of painstaking research, looking at social media posts, radio intercepts, telephone intercepts, and today they said finally that they could unequivocally confirm that this was a Russian missile that shot down plane MH17, killing 289 people on board in July 2014. Investigators in Holland, where two-thirds of the victims came from, said that after studying videos and photos of a military convoy which crossed from Russia into Ukraine and then back soon afterwards, and tracing serial numbers found among the wreckage, that the missile belonged and came from a very specific Russian-based anti-aircraft military unit. The JIT has concluded that the Buck Taylor with which flight MH17 was shot down is from the 53rd Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade from Kursk in the Russian Federation. The crash left bodies, debris and burning wreckage strewn across a field in Donetsk, about 25 miles from the Russian border, and intercepted radio communications recorded the operator of the missile system telling his commanders he had hit the plane. Now, prosecutors have given their findings to Russia, to Moscow, yet, of course, they have denied all knowledge of this affair. Trace? And, Benjamin, what do investigators say is the next step in this process? Well, one of the reasons they, they made this announcement today was that uh, a few years ago they said they had hundreds of suspects. They've now narrowed that down to just a few dozen, and they do want to proceed with a criminal case. They say if they can't get the suspects to them in Holland, then they will con continue and try them in absentia. But they have also appealed to help for help from witnesses who can testify about the involvement of the Russian military, people who may have actually seen uh, this rocket being fired, people who knew people connected to the 53rd Anti-Aircraft Brigade. Russia, meanwhile, have floated a number of implausible theories of their own, suggesting that Ukraine was responsible for shooting down the plane. And again and again, Russia has used their veto power at the UN to prevent any international tribunal from happening. So if this does move forward, when this moves forward, it'll have to happen in Holland rather than at the UN.